Hi folks, thanks for tuning in and welcome back. I'm down by a little trout stream today, uh, relaxing. Came down here to do a little fishing and take a lunch break. And to wrap up, I wanted to share two small EDC type knives, perhaps for hiking or the trail. They are compact but very robust. This one down here is in black canvas. And the one on top is in Buckeye Burl. And this one here is mine. The top one belongs to Miss Outfitter. Uh, that's what she wanted. And what I'll do is I'll talk about them a little bit. Let you check them out. And they're very high quality knives. This one here is in black canvas micarta with mosaic pins. It has a lanyard tube, and this one also has red liners, and there you go. Nice fit finish, no issues on this knife. I did strop this one a little bit when it came out of the box on a strop treated with uh, some diamond spray just to make it pop a little more. But there's the other side. And for those that are interested in specs, this knife is 7.6 inches overall, or 19.3 centimeters. And the blade is coming in at 3.6 inches, or 9.1 centimeters. does have a pretty robust spine for a small knife. Um, it's not a knife that needs to be babied. Very substantial there, and it also has a substantial point on it. You can see right there for piercing, drilling, probing. And this spine's coming in at 0 0.130 or 3.3 millimeters. There you go. CPM3V on the blade steel. And this knife weighs in at 3.7 ounces or 105 grams. Decent grip, no issues there. And there's a little palm swell. And it's just a smaller version of the standard Aurora. They also make an Aurora 2, which is much larger than this knife. I think this is a little more practical, a little more nimble and easier to handle. So once again, this is the Mini Aurora, and it is a black canvas, and let me give you a shot of that, and there you go. Now as far as the other knife, obviously the specs are going to be the same. Might be a little lighter, maybe a gram or two because of the wood. Sometimes the wood ones are a little lighter. But they're essentially identical. Uh, this knife here is beautiful. Uh, I think it probably is going to retain a little more value. I would say this one almost has an heirloom quality to it. And I'll let you check out that handle. And there you go. Beautiful mosaic pins, lanyard tube, buckeye burl. This one's loaded up, red liners. Just a gorgeous handle. Beautiful knife. There's the other side. A lot of character and detail there. Very comfortable, nice warm feel. I think for cold conditions this might be a little bit better option. Holding a little bit of wood. But 
Two beautiful compact knives again for the trail, hiking, food prep, cutting up, you know, fish, no issues there. And as far as the sheath, just came with a standard sheath, nothing fancy, there it is. It does have a fire steel loop, can be carried vertical or with a slight cant. And I'll show you what the knife looks like seated in there. So you can get a shot of that. And there you go, that's the package minus the fire steel. And there you go. So, I would classify these as borderline EDC knives. Maybe a tad big to bring into town or wear on a belt where they're visible, but you know, it just really depends where you live. And this one, is a little more expensive, but as you can see, really has a nice wood pattern to it. So, I'm going to pack up shortly, start heading back, i got an hour walk. But before I do, let me see if I can bring in a tad closer so you can get a good look at them. And once again, the one on top here, this one is the one in Buckeye Burl with red liners and the one on the bottom is the one I like just plain canvas but the pin set it off and it does have the liners I think it looks pretty cool anyway I want to share them with you all thanks for tuning in and see you all next time